Welcome back. Well, we've just read uh, Phil's journal and it seems that he agrees with Yisha that the restoration is not the right way to go for Dunny. Because it doesn't really restore, it only rebuilds. He appears to have been called by something, I'm assuming to borrow, and went out to uh, find them again. Which is presumably when he died, because he didn't have his Relto book. Which may or may not be because Sharper took it away. Okay, back at this bookshelf, well, there's this one book that we can use. It's in the place where our book to Bevin is. And this book doesn't actually lead to Bevin, it leads to another neighborhood. And this neighborhood looks a lot like Bevin, but it is actually a different one. You can see it is mirrored in comparison to our own neighborhood. The uh, fountain doesn't work, and instead of Eddie the beach ball, there is a number of uh, fire marbles uh, on the floor here, which we can kick around. There's another scope. which also looks at a Gura, the same as the one in our neighborhood. And a list of visitors. I can see I've been here. Before that, lots of people from the DRC have been here. Victor Laxman, Douglas Sharper, Marie Sutherman, Sutherland, Dr. Kodama, Michael Angwerk, Nick White, Trisha Lawson, My Michelle Cunningham, Michael Simpson, Sam Reynolds, and Sonia Michaels. Most of these people we've seen mentioned in journals uh, over the uh, over various uh, ages we've visited here. Sonia Michaels, you might remember, is a childhood friend of uh, Douglas Sharper, who visited him as he said in his uh, journal, the, his first journal. Nick is the guy who worked with uh, Sharper to translate books. Sam is a translator who worked for Dr. Kodama. And Engberg and Laxman, we've all seen these people mentioned. Kodama, of course, one of the uh, main people behind the DRC, together with Dr. Watson, who strangely isn't uh, listed here. There is uh, another uh, another garden here. No Relto page to be found here, though. No uh, game table as well. Now this neighborhood is actually Kirel. It's the one we were looking for. According to uh, Sharper, somewhere in Kirel is a linking book to uh, the Great Zero. But first let's check out the community room here. In our own uh, uh, neighborhood in Bevin, we got a garbled message in Dunny, so perhaps we'll get the same here. Hello. Test. Test. Victor, are we on? Okay, <clears throat> okay then. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Hi. Um, thanks to Victor, we've gotten some additional Denis technology working. It should be quite useful in sending messages here from the Dakota to the numerous neighborhoods as one more way to keep you informed of how things are progressing. Um, let me begin by once again welcoming newcomers to Denis. We're very pleased to have you. I know I've spoken with a few of you uh, in person, but to those of you I haven't met yet, welcome to the Restoration. 
The DRC and restoration engineers have been working very hard to put things in order. As you've probably noticed, various areas of the island, Agura, have been opened over the past few weeks uh, with quite a bit more scheduled over the next few days, uh, weeks, and w months to come. We are also working on opening up several new ages. And what we know that many of you have been given access to ages that haven't gone through any kind of process yet. And we certainly do not encourage use of any unapproved books. But w uh, let's just say that with your safety uppermost in our minds, we're pushing to approve those ages just as quickly as we can. Oh, and several of you have asked what you can do to help with the restoration effort. As you may already know, the Dene Keys have the ability to determine their precise location here in the cavern as well as in other ages. Much of this functionality is governed here in the cavern by the Great Zero. Victor has recently succeeded in getting portions of the Great Zero functioning again, but he tells me it still, still needs to be calibrated. We'll soon begin to focus on another island area, the ferry terminal and its associated docks. We actually had some restoration engineers do some diving and they found a, a sunken boat that we hope to raise at a later date. Before that, however, we will inspect the docks and approve them for public access. Now, let's see. Um, yes, outside the cavern, Garisen continues to progress nicely. Victor's team has recently made some discoveries that'll enable us to open up more of the interior space, uh, the wall, is what we call it. Members of our team are also working on another age that should be opened within the next few weeks. Perhaps we will post some pictures. I will end by addressing some peculiar events that have been occurring. Odd stones, books, cloths, and pages have been reported appearing from time to time. Rather than insist, probably unsuccessfully, that you not use these oddities, the DRC will for now simply wash its hands of any consequence arising from their use. In other words, if you use them, you do so at your own risk. We will continue to remove these artifacts if they're found, but so far that has proved fruitless. But, no. Well, I'm sorry to say it this way, but anyone involved in the placing of these books will be banned from the cavern. But to end on a good note, thanks for all the continued help to all of you and patience as Dunny slowly begins to grow again. Well, okay, we got a, not a garbled message in Dunny, but we got a message from uh, Dr. Watson, I believe, which was obviously recorded around the beginning of the restoration effort. And he... Uh, confirmed as well that we can use uh, our keys to um, find our location here in the in the cavern and that the, we need to use the grade zero to do that um, I'm a little bit disoriented <laughs> sorry because this, a, uh, this one is mirrored. We'll find much of the same uh, kinds of things here as we did in Bevin. Including uh, a Nexus pedestal. So we can register our key here so we can access this neighborhood from our Nexus instead of having to go through Phil's Relto. So anyway, we can use the grade zero uh, to help uh, to get our location, which we will need to find those coordinates from uh, Zandi. But um, before we can do that, we need to calibrate the grade zero. Apparently, as he said. This is the classroom in uh, Karel. The last group is leaving at five. You're on your own after that. Victor Laxman will be contacting and uh, will be organizing any contact on the service. Write him if you wish. Goodbye, Dr. K. Last message from Dr. Kodama. 
Is there anything else in here? I don't think so, but let's just check. No. Nothing hidden in the corner there. No. Well, that's the classroom. Well, somewhere in this neighborhood is a way to access the grade zero. But we'll work on finding that in the next video.